the primary hypothesis here is that by applying uh, deep brain stimulation to a brain pathway known as the cerebellar thalamocortical pathway, that is, the connections between the cerebellum and the cerebral cortex, that we will facilitate the plasticity that occurs in the cortex around the stroke, and by facilitating the plasticity, we will promote the recovery of function beyond what physical therapy alone can do. There are uh, more than five million stroke survivors in the United States today, United States alone. Uh, more than half of these five million people live with uh, hemiparesis on one side of the body. And all we can do uh, to help them now is uh, physical therapy. We need new treatments uh, that will help boost the effects of physical therapy to improve the outcomes of uh, physical rehabilitation. When we do uh, deep brain stimulation for a movement disorder, what we're trying to do is to make a symptom like tremor go away. So you can think of it as uh, treating what one could consider in neurology to be a positive symptom, meaning a symptom that is overlaid on top of the normal function like tremor. And the goal of neuromodulation is to suppress that symptom, is to suppress the tremor, suppress the rigidity. Uh, when we're doing this now for the first time in stroke, the goal of deep brain stimulation is to help recover a function that has been lost, that is the motor function on the paratic side of the body. I think that the, the primary interest here is really the opportunity. Uh, I think it's intuitive to every neurologist uh, that uh, we need to have better treatments and more options to help patients that have survived a stroke but unfortunately remain disabled in the chronic phase. Uh, I think that the opportunity here is to explore a new avenue that may uh, improve the long-term rehabilitative outcomes after a stroke. We would like people to know that we are now actively recruiting patients, that uh, uh, candidates for uh, this uh, clinical trial will be those that had the stroke between 12 and 24 months ago and remain with a uh, severe level of disability on one side of the body, remain with severe hemiparesis.